In your health now, allowing those with Alzheimer's or dementia to stay in their homes and out of institutions as long as possible and keeping Alzheimer's patients safe from potentially deadly medications. Just two of the many issues the Alzheimer's and Dementia Alliance of Wisconsin is working on. And joining us now is Rob Gunderman, the Public Policy Director, lobbyist for the Alliance. Rob, thanks so much for being here. I know uh, there's this Alzheimer's Family Caregiver Support Program that you guys have been working on. Tell us what that is. The Alzheimer's Family Caregiver Support Program is a respite program for the family caregiver who's caregiving for someone with Alzheimer's or some other type of dementia. Okay, and why is it so important? I think if people don't have Alzheimer's in their family, they might not understand. Sure. Um, it's important for a couple of reasons. One, it's really important to the individual, um, allowing them to remain in their homes for as mm -hmm. long as possible. They're happier there. They do better there. Mm -hmm. Um, the the uh, symptoms of the disease may even progress more slowly if sure. you're at home around That's familiar surroundings, exactly. being engaged. Um, but the, the second aspect of this is the cost. Mm -hmm. It's very expensive to keep someone in a nursing home in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. It's up to, I think the average costs are over 90000 a year now. So wow. uh, when a person with dementia remains in their home, mm -hmm. 70 to 100% of their care is provided for free by wow. friends and family. Wow. So a huge fiscal incentive to keep people, or to allow people to stay at home as long as possible. So what is the Alliance pushing for in this regard? More funding. Um, mm -hmm. This program is woefully underfunded. It's about a, a million five right now annually. Mm. And when you think about 90000 a year for one person in a nursing home, yeah. uh, a program like this that can keep a lot of people out of nursing homes, it, it really deserves more funding. So this is work that you're doing up at the Capitol trying to, to get more funding into this area. Absolutely. Uh, another area I know you've been working on, it involves uh, medications. Yes. Um, uh, tell me about that because some of these are potentially very deadly for Alzheimer's and dementia patients. Yes, um, antipsychotics or psychotropic medications all have black box warnings from the FDA saying these are not approved for people with dementia related psychosis, mm -hmm. increased risk of death. And mm -hmm. um, about 2010 we were able to get a bill passed that um, created an informed consent law okay. so for nursing homes. And we're trying to do the same thing on the CBRFs, the community-based residential facility side. Okay. Because we were seeing some deaths in the nursing homes at the time. We weren't seeing it on the CBRF side. Now we are. Right. So, we're really looking at so you want to expand that law to cover uh, more facilities that, that deal with Alzheimer's patients. Exactly. Right. All right. Well, there's a great way that you can help because advocacy is just one of the many ways the Alzheimer's and Dementia Alliance of Wisconsin is supporting patients and their families. There are education programs, awareness, support groups. They do great work, and we would like to ask you to help support the Alzheimer's and Dementia Alliance of Wisconsin by joining me Saturday morning at Warner Park for the Dane County Alzheimer's Alliance Walk. You can help fund support and advocacy programs, things Rob was just talking about here. They served 24,000 people last year alone here locally in Wisconsin. More information under news links at NBC15.com. Rob Gunderman, thanks so much for joining us. Keep up thanks the good work me. at the Capitol. We appreciate it.